Hey everyone, this is Dream with uh, In-Depth Gaming, and today I'll be reviewing Hotshot Racing. Hotshot Racing is developed by Lucky Mountain Games and Sumo Digital, and it is published by Curve Digital. Curve Digital also has uh, produced uh, Human Paw Flat, Thomas Was Alone, The Swapper, and other games for Xbox. Um, so, I, I, I do like a lot of their games, so I was really anticipating on playing this. This game is also available on Game Pass. Um, if you don't have Game Pass, then you can pick up the game for $19.99 regularly, or this week, it's on sale for $15.99. Uh, so what is this game? Well, this is an a this is an arcade racer. Uh, it's kind of old school. Um, it actually reminds me of the arcade games that you play uh, in, like Mr. Gaddy's restaurants. So, you know, you put a quarter in, get a race. Uh, the style of uh, uh, the graphics are much similar to what you'll find in an arcade, which fits being a it's an arcade racing game. Um, Overall, the gameplay is pretty solid. Uh, you know, it's a it's a rather difficult game on the higher difficulties. The normal difficulties are pretty straightforward. You're going to win most of the time if you're reasonably good at racing games. Harder difficulties are going to be reserved for the the top tier people who do racing games. Uh, I'm a pretty big racing game fan myself, and I even found them pretty difficult. Uh, had some success, but I've not been perfect by any stretch. Uh, so, you know, there's definitely a lot of variance in the, on how, uh, how difficult these, the difficulties can be. Uh, I will give, uh, it, it does really play like an old school arcade racing game. So the controls are a little funky when it comes to the drifting and the, you know, turning. It, you know, it has that, uh, uh, you know, the mouse ball feel, you know, where the car turns from the center, as opposed to how you play, like, in Forza, for instance. But obviously, you know, it's an arcade racer, so you're ex you're not expecting it to be a lot like Forza. Um, I wouldn't say it's a downside, it's just it's not the most con controller-friendly uh, game. It might actually prove to be a better game on a computer versus a, with an Xbox controller. Um, overall, uh... Uh, the music in the game was overtly loud, and I had to turn it down some. And it's very, it's definitely like the arcade game music as well. Uh, this game is just completely retro from that perspective. Graphically, it looks solid. You know, it's got, they're using a lot of bright, bright, uh, vibrant colors. So you're not gonna, you know, it, and it doesn't look bad by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, obviously, it's the boxy look that you get in arcade games. Yeah, in real arcade games and arcades. So overall, though, it looks it's it looks solid, and I don't think it's anything that anybody's going to be unhappy with. Um, let's talk about the achievements. Uh, the achievements in this game are not the hardest, but they're also not the easiest. Uh, I, I got about I played about five hours and got 500 and some change in gamer score. Uh, it's going to be a difficult completion simply because there's a lot of uh, requirements, to, achievements for getting uh, first place in all the tracks on Expert and in, in Grand Prix and Grand Prix mode. So yeah, that's, that's going to be a difficult. There's also some other random achievements that are quite difficult, uh, including, and it's going to take you, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 hours to unlock all the customization options, assuming that you can get through all the Expert Grand Prix as well. So. And it's not the fast achievement game that people like, but most most racing games aren't. And you will feel pretty good if you're able to complete it. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to complete it, assuming I spend the time into doing it. Uh, you know, like uh, arcade games, at least you don't have to put in quarters in order to complete all the achievements, because it would cost you a lot. But overall, I think it's a pretty solid game. Uh, the price is, you know pretty fair for a arcade racing game. Uh, I definitely like it more at the on sale price. Uh, and the fact that it's on Game Pass is a big bonus. So if you have Game Pass you're gonna you gotta go play this straight away. Um, so overall I think it's a really solid game. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Uh, actually you know I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Uh, I was gonna give it a six out of ten thinking about the price, but the more I looked at other games that are similar, it's actually priced better than most arcade racing games are, so 
you know, as far as arcade racing games go, you're going to uh, find this is a pretty good deal. And it's got a, you know, with the achievement list and all the content and the different drivers and different cards in the game, you have a lot of different, you know, solutions to beating each race. And so you're going to find cars you like and cars you don't like and drivers you like and don't like because they all have different attributes that, at least the cars, you know, each driver has four cars that they can use and they have different attributes that make her, make it easier or harder to win races. So. But overall, solid game. I, I'm, I'm enjoying playing it and I hope to complete it. So, I think that's about all I have for you today. But uh, if you like this video or you like this game or don't like this game, feel free to comment and or make any uh, suggestions for games you want to see us uh, potentially play here in the near future. Um, you know, the overall, I think we've got a couple more videos probably going to come out later today and maybe tomorrow. So, be on the lookout for those. Like, like, you know, also subscribe to our channel if you could. That helps us. So, overall, uh, have a nice day, everybody.